In this problem, we have a man standing near a lamp post, and it's shining down on him, creating a shadow. And the man walks away from the lamp at five feet per second, so he's he's moving in the direction of the arrow. And we're asked to find the the rate at which the tip of his shadow is changing. So the rate at which this point right here is changing, the tip of his shadow, and then the rate at which the length of his shadow is changing. So his shadow's length is going to be changing also, we, and we want to find that. Okay, so I, I forgot to label this, but this lamp post is 15 feet high. So 15, and this man is only 6 feet tall. Not only, but compared to the lamp, he's smaller. Okay, and, and the easiest way to set this problem up, not that this problem is necessarily easy, but the, probably what I should say is the best way to set this problem up is to set it up like this. Represent it as a triangle. Okay. So, the, the, the tall side of the triangle is the lamp. And then there's going to be the guy walking inside the triangle. So here we have 15. That's the height of the lamp. And this is the height of the man, which is 6. This length down here we don't know, so let's just call it x. And the length of his shadow we also don't know, so let's call it y. Okay, so we got a couple things to figure out here. One, one clue is that we know what dx dt is. We know how fast x is changing because we know how fast he's walking away. So in other words, he's moving this way at a certain rate, and that's going to create x to change at a certain rate. So we know that. So we have that going for us. Also, what else do we know? Well, we know that x and y are related. The length, let's call this, this side, this whole side, L. Let's call this whole side L. Okay, so the length is just the distance the man is away from the lamp plus the length of his shadow. All right. Now, we also have proportional triangles going on, and that's the first place we're, we want to start. Or, or, sorry, similar triangles, which will create a por proportion. So we're going to have y, y divided by 6. So, so the smaller triangle side divided by its, its height is equal to the larger triangle side, which is x plus y. That's the whole side divided by its height. And this is going to, to be equal to it once we cross multiply. 15y will equal 6x plus 6y. Okay, now let's, let's get y to equal something in x. So we subtract the 6y from both sides, we get 9y, 9y equals 6x, and y equals 2 thirds x. Okay, great, we solved for y in terms of x. So we eliminated one, one variable. I'm just going to leave it there for now, you'll, you'll see why in, later. So y equals 2 thirds x. Perfect. So this was step one. Step one was figuring out this proportional triangle and solving for y in terms of x to eliminate a variable. Okay, step two, how are we going to figure out how, what, what relationship will tell us how fast that point is moving? Well, we could figure it out because it's the, it's the rate at which L is changing, right? 
the total length. If this extends, then L extends. So the rate at which this tip is moving is the same as the which the as the same as the rate in which L is moving. So let's write that out. So L and now we have an equation that relates L and X. And that's what we want because we know dx dt, we're trying to find dl dt. So L equals x plus y, which is just x plus two thirds x. So we needed we needed this y to make this substitution. Okay. So L equals five thirds x. Once we do that addition. And now dl dt, the derivative, so that'll be step three, taking the derivative. The derivative, the rate at which L changes, is equal to five thirds times the rate at which x changes, dx dt. And we already know that dx dt changes at five feet per second, so this is just five thirds times five, which is equal to 25 thirds. Okay, 25 thirds feet per second. Not too difficult. I mean, it, it wasn't terribly easy. We had to set up this proportion, and, and the hardest part, in my opinion, is realizing that this tip is changing. This tip is changing at, at the same rate in which L is changing. So creating that, that relationship between L and X is, is probably the hardest part. And even if you did create that relationship, then you'd still have to use this proportion to, to solve for y. Okay, so let's look at the next question. The rate at which the length of his shadow is changing. Well, that's going to be what? Looking at this diagram, what is that going to be? The length of his shadow is y, so the rate at which his shadow changes is dy dt. So now let's, let's go back. Let's go back to this step where we said y equals two-thirds x. Now let's say x, let's solve for x. x equals what? Three halves y. And now let's, let's go back. So we have L, L equals y plus three halves y. So we made a different substitution now. We took x out. We had y plus x, but x is just two-thirds y. Okay. And we can, this will become equal to five-halves y is equal to L. And now when we take the derivative, we already know what dl dt is. We figured it out in the last problem. Or in, in part A. And maybe I should have written the answer so you could see it, but part A was 25 thirds. Okay, so dl dt, that's just 25 thirds. That's what we figured out in the last problem. Is equal to 5 halves dy dt. And dy dt is the rate at which its shadow changes. That's what we're after. So we can just do this um, this uh, division just divide by two fifths, which is the same as, or sorry, five five halves, which is the same as multiplying by two fifths, and this will come out to be equal to ten thirds. Ten thirds feet per second. Okay, so we found our two answers. Ten thirds feet per second. So these are both in feet per second. Okay, so hopefully this was an informative video for you, and, and it should give you some idea that, that drawing relationships is really the, the hardest part of related rates, and if you can start to, to think of clever ways to draw relationships, then you'll have no problem solving these, because the derivative part is just really, really easy. Okay, see you in the next video.